the next market update. Um, a few things have been happening, but not too much action from what we discussed last week uh, with the Magnificent Seven kind of pushing higher and higher, with the stock market pushing higher and higher, um, and obviously with the ETH ETF approval, we almost reached 4K and tapped just right under that. Um, and I worked out some notes on just some few um, on just a few key pointers that I wanted to discuss uh, in terms of the market. So everyone, let's uh, jump over to uh, to my screen share. I just want to go over the stock market real quick because, as you guys know, uh, without the stock market kind of moving in our way, um, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, m moving in our way, the crypto market will lag behind unless there's a catalyst. And of course, the ETF news and approval uh, is a big catalyst. So what I want to show you guys is the S&P 500 uh, and the movement on there. So for the S&P 500 on Thursday, literally the day after of our market update, we hit another new all-time high i'm sorry not another new all-time high on wednesday last week we were just a few pennies away from a new all-time high and then thursday the next day we had an all-time high of 533 dollars. so it's pretty epic and the momentum is not slowing down in terms of the s p 500 right and you guys all know the s p 500 is comprised of the top 500 stocks and what's so good about the s p 500 is they can choose to kind of kick uh certain stocks out or add um or or add uh, other stocks in right uh so the s p 500 continues pushing higher making new highs and i don't know if you guys were watching but nvidia is just on absolute monstrous tear hitting over 1100 dollars today it gapped up two times in the last four trading days extremely impressive and it's still trading higher after hours. So we all know by now that NVIDIA is in the Magnificent Seven. And we have Apple in the Magnificent Seven, right? Which is getting very, very close to hitting all-time highs as well. And with this pattern that we have on Apple, it's poised to make a higher move as well. Amazon, of uh, kind of lagging behind the other uh Mag magnificent seven stocks but still trading very close to all-time highs um netflix although it's no uh no longer like you know fang right fang was like 2020 to 2022 kind of near 2023 error and then we switched from fang to the magnificent seven but um ne netflix is still a big mover in the stock market overall and it's um and it's kind of looked at as like a, as like a big leader in, in the market. And what's crazy about Netflix is it's ready to go a lot higher than even right now with this setup here, right? We kind of have like a bull flag, but not really. But this this formation right here, this fractal, uh, fractal, I'm sorry, is set to go a lot higher on Netflix as well. Um, uh, of course, some of the other big leaders in uh, in the Magnificent Seven is Google, which is just a dollar away from all time highs, and then we have a Meta, which is lagging behind the rest of the Magnificent Seven, and then we have lovely Microsoft, uh, which is set up to make new highs as well. Um, <clears throat> and then besides that, I think I covered. Oh, and then Tesla. Tesla is the only uh, lagging uh, asset in the Magnificent Seven, but Tesla has been trading um, pretty decent, and it's following our Thanos strategy. Right, we're trading above the thirty-four EMA, trading above the thirty-four EMA. You know, we're set up to trade to the one forty-four. Of course, the eighty-nine need, needs to be passed first. Up and then a 200 so quite a big move set up here on tesla and i think if you guys take calls on tesla with about a two to three month window it should generate us uh, some pretty pretty large gains as well um i just touched up on netflix so when netflix continues to run 
you do see some sympathy play with Roku. And uh, Roku has been kind of a junker lately, but it's it's something that I would keep an eye out big time um, because you keep holding this kind of base right here with this area, right? This area and this area. So I would keep Roku on the watch list for you folks that are active in the stock market uh, as a big potential play. Um, and then I'm going to just cover some key facts that if I wanted to talk about, uh, about, um, uh, about the stock market. So with, uh, with Nvidia getting this crazy pump, uh, in the, in, in the stock market, um, we should focus on some, on some AI narrative stocks. Because the reason why in, NVIDIA is having the big movement that it's having, it's all driven based off of the based off the AI stuff, right? Uh, and one of the other biggest players in the in the in the stock market for AI is C three AI, right here, this guy, uh, which also has not been performing very well, and the chart is actually bearish. But just because the chart is bearish doesn't mean that we shouldn't keep it on the watch list and keep focus on it. Um, something that you guys have probably heard me say quite a few times uh, is that the stock market and the smart money investors, they look at things, you know, three to seven years uh, um, ahead of time, right? So if they think something is going to be very valuable in the future, you know, they go, they go months and months out in advance. And that's why we had this big boom way back in June, 2023. So running up almost one year ago, right? So in about a month's time from now, it'll be one year since we had this big boom here uh, on the stock AI. And that's why I think everyone should keep, uh, keep the stock AI uh, or um, or a C three AI uh, on on top of their watch list if they're involved in the stock market because this could be another very very big play and um, <clears throat> on top of that uh, some of the other uh, big movers had been some of the other chips like Intel uh, they've had some pretty solid movement here. They had a massive boom uh, at the end of uh, last year, and we're we're keeping this this higher low pattern here, but base basing and and now looks like we're basing over here with a nice gap right over here. So what I'm most actively watching in the stock market for potential low entry, low risk, high reward setups are AI and Intel. And some of the other big stocks, um, well, I'm sorry, not big stocks, but of some of the other kind of big, uh, big performers right now that we should keep an eye on are kind of some of some of the more boring stocks, I guess we could say. Uh, but one of the big ones is uh, Home Depot. Uh, reason why if we want to look at Home Depot, uh, if you're an elite member or if you're very familiar with the, with the Itch and Nissan strategy, we kind of basically have a very, 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 very long-term Itch and Nissan unfolding here on Home Depot, kind of like we have on BKNG, which is booking.com, which is set up to go much, much higher as well. I know Blast, uh, Blast was saying 4K plus easy on booking. And again, these are daily charts. So these patterns take a very long time to unfold. But that's great for the swing trader. That's great for the busy person. But I want us to really focus on Intel and AI stock. And then for some of you other people who are into some of these like value stocks, uh, some of these non-tech stocks, I think I should say, not value stocks. Uh, Home Depot is something to really look at because when Home Depot rips, it really, really does like to rip and trend for quite a while. Um, now, 
let's go into the stock market. Actually, let, let me just cover AMC and GameStop real quick because I know there's a, a lot of FOMO around these stocks. So uh, you'll see a lot of pre-market pumps with AMC and GameStop, and they usually get sold off unless there's just crazy, crazy momentum, but they usually get sold off, right? Uh, if there was a big pump on AMC today, pre-market, um, uh, I'm sorry, a small pump on AMC pre-market, GameStop had the big pump, but AMC pre-market had an okay pump and it kind of got sold off into, um, and, and the gap got filled, but AMC tomorrow, if we do open within the $4.80 range up to maybe about the $5.20 range, could be a really, really good entry for us to trade it up to about seven bucks which is gonna be the cross right here of the 144 EMA and the 200 SMA. So keep that in mind. Again, try not to focus so much on these meme stocks because AMC and GameStop are just such garbage stocks. But right, just because it is a garbage stocks doesn't mean that we can't make uh, good capital or good return, just trading the chart. But I never like to buy the pump pre-market because it usually gets sold off because the suckers like to buy in, in into the FOMO of it. Now, GameStop had a, had a very big pump pre-market. It almost filled this gap right here. And if you guys were watching the stock watch list that was posted last night, uh, we had a play in there. And that play on... Uh, unfolded out very, very well and actually actually perfectly. So try to not rush into these meme stocks without a game plan. And if you guys do have any questions about what a good entry level is, watch out for the watch list because uh, Blaster was all over GameStop. And if you followed the watch list, then you killed GameStop today. But if you didn't follow, follow the watch list today, then you probably got killed on GameStop. But these two stocks are very junky stocks. I don't want us to pay a lot of attention to it, but if you are going to pay attention to them, it's kind of our job to keep you guys informed and educated on them. So play be smart. Um, try not to FOMO in, into them and trade the levels. If you see things running pre-market into a gap open, then don't FOMO because it's very, very likely that things will get sold off into. Um, so let's go into crypto. Um, some big news in crypto lately, besides the ETF approval, which I thought was kind of, kind of the biggest one, would be that uh, XRP is thinking about, well, I'm sorry, not thinking about, they're basically attempting to in introduce a new stable coin uh, into the market. And XRP itself has not re reacted to that news or reacted to that Im information at all. But it's trading in a really, really good area right here. Um, it's just kind of flatlined in this basin, right? We've had these pumps, 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 but nothing really kind of came out of it. But I want us to keep XRP on the radar because of this news. And I think it's pretty, pretty big news if uh, if uh, XRP does introduce a stable coin into the market. Uh, a few other big news key factors that happened in the crypto market, um, which has been kind of going on back and forth a lot. And it's been going on back and forth with a lot of coins out there is that they just keep trying to chase Binance and they keep trying to chase um, them basically into saying that their coin BNB should have been defined as a security. Even though they've said that about so many other crypto coins that it should have been security, it should have been a security, just like uh, XRP should have been a security so long ago, even though it, it never was. Um, so something else that is kind of on, on the radar in the next six to 12 months is CZ, the old CEO of Binance is basically gonna like get out of his uh, jail time and uh, jail time and stuff like that. Um, and then 
the other biggest news that happened within the last week in the crypto markets is that the White House passed the FIT 21 bill, the FIT 21, as they say. So it's basically um, them, them approving decentralized trading for Americans. And before we know that that was not really a thing. Um, of course, there was MetaMask, there was Uniswap and all that stuff that we could get on. But a lot of these decentralized exchanges or swaps, for example, like DYDX, uh, you needed a VPN to get on because it wasn't allowed in the States. And you guys know, like MEXC is now starting KYC. All of these leveraged trading platforms they're all introducing KYC and making it mandatory, right? That's why we're all getting the uh, Palo, uh, the uh, Palo ID, right? Because we want to still be able to leverage trade if the only passports that we have, excuse me, are for the U.S. So with this new bill, what I think will happen is one we'll see a lot less uh, a lot less scrutiny when it comes to us trading on decentralized exchanges and for us to trade on leverage platforms right if that's a, that's a super big deal if, if we're allowed to trade options um as uh, as a, as american citizens right we should be able to leverage trade crypto because the risk is almost the same there besides the fact that you can get liquidated if you don't set a stop loss um on your um on your positions for leverage trading um and in the meme world news and i'm i'm just going to touch upon this before i let Fody kind of uh take over uh take over the web 3 portion of the live because there isn't too too much market update stuff for stocks and crypto but in the in the meme coin world uh pepe has hit a new all-time highs consistently day after day after day after day it's quite impressive uh but you know we never let like to chase and we never ever ever chase here or fomo right um in other news unfortunately the dog that inspired uh dogecoin and shiba inu and all that stuff passed away so we've started to see a little bit of trickling down into the dog coins um so dogecoin ran a little bit but it's still kind of underperforming what's been going on with the rest of the quote-unquote dog market um it's been very very stable though and i will say dogecoin has a very very good setup here this is actually a type of setup that i would alert myself i think dogecoin has a very good setup it's worthy of an alert here very very soon if we do have a change of character with us finally kind of breaking out of this area right this is a change of character what a change of character is is when you have like price action price action price action like this and then you finally break through and, and you kind of come back like this but then you hold this area so you guys have probably heard me say many many times of when old resistance right so this would be resistance 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 and this is resistance 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 because price action goes down from here, price action goes down from here, price action goes down from here. So when old resistance now becomes new support, right? Now this is the support. That's when price action finally starts to make very bullish movement to the upside, right? And now that's kind of what you're seeing right here is this is now becoming support when the whole time this was resistance, this was resistance right so that's the change of character that we look for for things to go to the upside so if i want us to keep doge on top of the watch list for crypto trading and if you guys see me drop an alert here of, of here pretty soon 
Oh, that's so funny. Uh, Ari, if Ari Saboni just said, here, there you go, Shib. Um, so uh, if you guys see um, uh, Doge, I'm sorry, if you guys see a alert on Doge here pretty soon, don't be surprised. I do think it's uh, set up to go uh, pretty good. Uh, and then, of course, you guys know that we have a, have a alert on SHIB going, uh, which I'll discuss in a second. But uh, I want to point out a huge uh, round of applause for Eduardo of pointing us to Floki way over here. Yeah. With a <clears throat> massive pump on Floki. OG Solana testing. mean Floki. And then I haven't, I haven't touched up on Bonk yet. Uh, I haven't touched up on on Bonk yet, but guys, Floki is testing previous all time highs. You know what that means, right? It's time to get that smiley strat going. Uh, we are testing previous all time highs on Floki. And I'm pretty sure this thing is going to break out like crazy. So if you guys are still holding it, Eduardo killed it with that alert. You guys are at target two now with targets three and four. Just crazy, crazy free money for you guys. Uh, Shib kind of lagging behind everybody. But it's lagging behind everybody for good freaking reason. So I am someone that really, really, really likes to watch Wix. Uh, and really likes to see how of how quickly Wix gets sold into and bought into, uh, which is kind which is kind of complex. But I so I won't harp on it too much. But I started to see massive selling pressure and massive, 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 massive buying pressure. So when I see massive selling pressure with massive buying pressure, and the whole market is kind of going that way. I think it's just a matter of time before we sh we see a a really really big squeeze on SHIB. Um, I'm I hate saying the word excited because that's too emotional when it comes to trading, but I'm a little excited about the potential on SHIB because I think it's gonna rip some faces off off these bears. Uh, my advice if you're trying to short SHIB to get the hell out of that short. It is not worth the risk to reward. Uh, I'm pretty damn sure we're about to see a pump to at least to the golden pocket, to, which is about 32%. And then, of course, back to back to that point oh four that we nailed on the head perfectly back in March and April. Um. And then, of course, just like Fody said, uh, the Solana uh, meme coin of the whole dog market is we, we got Bonk, right? So Bonk also uh, basically testing previous all-time highs just like Floki, right? We got Bonk over here on the left. We got Floki over here on the right. Let me just remove that drawing. We have extremely similar setups, almost like photocopy setups here. Uh, almost a almost a photocopy setups over here on Floki and Bonk. Both are just penny shy of testing previous all time highs. All right, guys, I'm just gonna drink a water. So both are testing <clears throat> previous all-time all highs, just pennies away. And, and I think both of these are super set to break out massively. And again, a lot of, of the Discord is in Floki. Again, thank you, Eduardo, for that. And, and if you missed Floki, if you missed Bonk, don't sweat it. There's really nothing to worry about because we still have SHIB in the mix that has not broken out like it will. If if I know my meme coins, it should. And this thing is ready to just rip a couple of faces off. It's just set up so nice. This is one of my favorite setups. 
And we haven't even seen the change of character yet on SHIB. So that means that we're still really, really early, right? So the change of character would be when, right? So this was support. This was support, right? This is our S. This is our S. But then we dip down here, right? So like I was saying, when old resistance is new support, that's ready for us to go higher, right? And then vice versa, when old support is now the new resistance, we go lower. And that's what keeps happening, right? We keep getting these rejections, we keep getting these rejections, and now we're here, right? So, but now, if we can break through this, right? If right now, this is resistance. You just got to excuse my very crappy R's. This is resistance. This is resistance, right? So when we can break through this area of resistance, and then resistance then becomes support, and we get support, things are ready to rocket here on ship. So I may or may not be betting the house on shit. Who knows? I am. <laughs> so I have quite a big bag on SHIB here, and I'm pretty excited to see where it goes because I do do think it's going to be quite the rewarding coin for us. Again, that doesn't mean go outside of your risk boundaries. If it means you're going to be depressed or heartbroken if you get blown out on SHIB, then you're way, way, way oversized. So don't bet the house on it, but just know that the setup is a very, very good setup with very low risk. Um, and I think that about covers it, and that gives Fody just under 30 minutes to talk about the meme coin market because i know there is a lot to talk about guys don't worry we will have a q a on everything that i just discussed up and so on oh ando golly ando man if you bought those long-term spot bags on ando we killed it bro we killed that shit Ando's a four or five dollar coin minimum so keep holding those spots and Oh man, if this daily candle closes like that, see you guys at a dollar. I'm sorry, see see you guys at two bucks if this candle closes like that. See you guys at two bucks. Um, yeah, Fody, what's up, dude? There's so much going on right now in the freaking meme coin market. Yeah. All right, so let's redo that to segue off the dog coins on Solana. We 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 got to look at different narratives too. So. Yeah, Solana already has billion dollar market cap dog coins. Now what's next? Probably cat coins. So what cat coins do I think are going to hit a billion dollar market cap first on the Solana network is definitely going to be Popcat and Mew. Um, share my screen right here. All right. So yeah, Popcat and Mew. Mute Popcat has already uh, surpassed its all time high, and it's still, but I, I still think we have a lot of room to grow on that. And then Mew, Mew hasn't yet, and Mew just looks like it's ready to just send it. If you guys don't remember, these were the two huge cat coins that, that ran up to hundreds of million dollars of market cap, like literally overnight. Uh, and they've held pretty steady throughout that, that, that dip that we had. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, these are the two. Cat coins that I so heartily think are going to hit a billion dollar market cap for Solana. Now, in other news, there is a new network, not so new, but it's kind of came back to life, and that's Ton, the Open Network, a you know a network that was um, developed by Telegram, the Telegram founders, and they kind of had to do away with it because of regulations, but it has since we seen a uh seen a resurgence and now there is a coin on there that kind of hit a billion dollar market cap overnight called not coin not coin like i said is on the ton network um if you want to go to that website it's ton.org and you can get yourself a wallet 
they have this tap to earn coin on telegram pretty ponzi like but you know hey we're we're in a, we're, we're here to make you know money very quickly and get out we're not this isn't something to stay in forever um so that's something that i'm going to look out for now what's going on with board abia club i know they've been you know fudded to the ground recently um and just you know been through the mud the past few months but you gotta unmute yourself on uh stream yard arthur has there been any uh new fud in the last two to three weeks so no so garga one of the founders of of um actually the latest fud yeah was that was that was the crypto punk auction thing the the punks and residents thing where because you know how yuga owns crypto punks um that that they pulled that, that quickly because of like one of the artists was was uh was releasing too woke too woke of of art you know really like edgy art and and it got a lot of backlash backlash so they pulled that but in other news um you know garga kind of came back and stepped in as ceo well he did for yuga and he's kind of taking it back to the roots of what yuga was intended to be uh with that being said he's lined out a couple things that he's working on and you know had a a you know majority positive review uh you know they're really going to start focusing on the other side i know other side took a a um kind of like a step back and kind of nobody knew where it was going or like it didn't you know it didn't come out to what people thought it was going to be but they have this thing called the odk which is the other side development kit which is where you know you you build on 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 the other side and, and and the other side in general and you and it caters to the brand they have this thing called project dragon and what he said was in quotations thousands shooting each other in the world's most absurd team fight game built with the same tool set we're making available with odk so that's another project they're coming uh coming up with you know it's you know they're they're very game centric lately i don't know how it's going to turn out i mean to to be honest i feel like you know it's with so many games and all these games sucking it just i you know it's i don't know how i feel about it you know i who knows if it's going to stick i'd rather them focus on one main thing and, and and have that be spectacular than a bunch of you know than than like 10 12 shitty games uh then you got ape fest coming up <clears throat> and then uh yeah i mean he's you know he's you're starting to see the original founders more and more involved with yuga now than you have in the past couple years but yeah also you know i want to talk about celebrity meme coins guys i know some of you did pretty good with the caitlin jenner meme coin but still still keep in mind that celebrity coins never work out they always almost all of them always go to zero yeah it's fun to make more money in the short run and i hope you guys got out and made a good bag but guys at the end of the day that caitlin jenner coin in solana was, was was a phenom her her twitter was hacked um it wasn't really her and and they launched a meme coin out of it um and yeah and that's pretty much it's still hacked right now so i just want to make sure you guys are aware that it's you know nothing that's going to be something in the future but yeah that's pretty much it and then I'm, we're still working on these airdrops blast is soon coming in june mid-june or late june and yeah that's pretty much it and as far as like hot nfts right now as far as guys, hot you guys will have a lot of time to farm blast well i'm sorry not a lot maybe what 10 days maybe two weeks tops i'd say a little just a little under a month i think it was like was it what was it june 21st we saw the date or something yeah they were saying mid uh june was the last uh last that i saw but on the conservative level i'd say 
two weeks or less. But again, it's just free free money out there, guys. Yeah. And you know, something else that people are sleeping on too is stake land. I posted this maybe a few weeks back, right? And it's literally they're literally it's not their token that they're airdropping you. It's it's other uh, meme tokens or utility tokens that they're dropping for socially engaging with them. So what that means is like they meme stake land and meme land. It, it, that's a huge like web three company. And that's a huge NFT project. Uh, you know, they're, they have three different NFT projects and the lowest floor price on one of them is like two, or I think it's 1.7 ETH, maybe two ETH. Um, oh. So and last run, last run they did um they airdropped you rune coin or yeah, the rune coin on um on 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 a uh, on Bitcoin and now they're doing Mon protocol, which is Pixelmon's token for their for their ecosystem. And if you and I've talked about this in the past, but Pixelmon really made a comeback and now they're looked at as one of like the premier projects when it comes to web three gaming. And now they're going to be airdropping you to and they've parted up with meme land and now they're going to be airdropping you tokens. Uh, so, you know, stake land is going to have more projects in the future, but that this is one airdrop that's really worth farming. That doesn't require a lot of effort at all, but that's it. If you guys need to know how to do that stuff. I mean, I, I felt like I broke it down pretty easy in the airdrop guides, but if you need help, please feel free to reach out or tag me or anything. That's kind of all I have for, um, you know, the Web3 journey. Oh, yeah, Ethereum, Ethereum mainnet seeing a resurgence in price action uh, in NFTs lately. Still, still dwarfing Bitcoins, still dwarfing Solana, which is, you know, crazy. So Ethereum is not dead. Brother, Ethereum was never dead. <laughs> but I'm also a fucking ETH maxi. Oops, we got to bluff that out. But yeah. But yeah, that's all I got. Thank you guys for tuning in. Sweet. Uh, any questions, folks? Just drop it in the chat over there on the stage. Popcat and Mew. Popcat, Mew, Shib, Ondo. Stock market, Intel, AI3. Keep an eye out. Follow the watch list, follow pre market coffee, or stay broke. Yeah. <laughs>